How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be showing you how it is possible to play Don't Starve Together on a tablet or other mobile device using a little app called Moonlight. Now, this is an imperfect solution. I'm going to say up front that nothing's going to replace really running it natively. This is simply a workaround and it works by streaming Don't Starve Together from your computer to your mobile device. To get started, you're going to need some hardware, namely an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 Plus Series GPU. So in other words, if you have a GPU from NVIDIA that was made within the last few years, you probably should be okay, but it's not going to support integrated graphics. It's not going to support AMD GPUs. It's not going to support really old NVIDIA GPUs, but with those caveats out of the way, let's get started in setting the game up so that it works with your mobile device. To get started here, on the PC that you're running Don't Starve, install the GeForce Experience software from geforce.com. You may have to restart your computer after you finish this installation. Start the GeForce Experience and click on the settings gear and then choose the shield option. Make sure the game stream switch is in the on position, which is green. Moving on, go to either Google Play or the iOS app store and download the Moonlight app. Once it is installed, simply launch it and make sure that your client, this being the tablet or other mobile device that you've installed Moonlight on is connected to the same local network as your PC. If it is, your PC should show up in the Moonlight app's home screen. If, however, you don't see your computer there, try restarting everything, including your router, to make sure that no pending updates are actually blocking it from appearing. If after trying that, your PC doesn't automatically appear for some reason, you can simply add your computer manually by using your computer's IP address. The instructions for how to do that, of course, can be found on Moonlight's website. Once you have selected your PC in the Moonlight app, it will ask you to enter a pin on your desktop. So type that pin in and accept the pairing dialog. And finally, you're ready to stream Don't Starve to your mobile device. Now there are some very real limitations to streaming Don't Starve Together with your mobile device. Number one, if your wireless network is not that fast, it might be possible that you'll experience stuttering in the game. I personally have not had a big problem with this and I'm using a very basic kind of router so I don't think that should be a problem with you either but if you're hoping to stream in like full 1080p at 60 frames a second or if you're looking at even higher resolutions like potentially 4k uh, make sure you definitely have the router horsepower to back those expectations up otherwise you're going to be in for a poor experience overall. Not only this but it in introduces a lot of latency into the game. Now by default don't Starve Together is highly dependent upon your latency because you're actually connecting to a server in most cases and you're playing with other players who actually have their own connections to that server. But introducing additional jumps between yourself and the final destination for the packets to arrive at, yeah, you might actually find that the latency involved here is not acceptable. This is especially true if you're streaming over the internet. You can do it, however, make sure that once again you have the network horsepower in whatever location that it is to actually stream full 720p HD video at 30 frames per second. And you're also going to need to check Moonlight's website to find the UDP and TCP ports you have to unblock to allow Moonlight to actually communicate with your computer online versus over the network. And it does work with iOS and Android devices. And you can use it on a phone or a tablet. Both of those devices work just fine. The real issue here is it might be actually be the controls because by default the controls that Moonlight provides are on the screen and they do not provide an optimal control layout for playing games such as Don't Starve. So you might actually be interested in getting a controller that is compatible with your mobile device. Uh, for Android devices there are certainly more options than iOS. You can definitely get a controller that is fully compatible with the usual Xbox layout. Uh, with iOS it's definitely not as easy. You're limited in terms of the types of controllers that are supported on an unrooted device at the very least and you're definitely not going to be able to enable mouse emulation like you can on Android devices. So if you're interested in adding an additional controller to the game either for iOS or Android be sure to look at the instructions for doing so on Moonlight's website once again that should be all you have to do to get Don't Starve Together 
on your mobile device. In my case, I was using an iPad mini. It worked just fine. I have had a few minor hitching issues where the speed of my network couldn't keep up with the stream, but by and large, it was definitely playable for a controller. Like personally, I'll never be able to replace mouse and keyboard with a controller. That just might be me. Uh, and especially not with an on-screen controller like you see in the gameplay here. So I did run through some basic stuff with the gameplay. I can, I'm, I'm going to be showing that in this video. You've probably noticed. I recorded both the computer's output on this as well as the output from the device. So you'll be able to see that it was actually displaying the game on my computer while at the same time displaying it on my mobile device. I was actually controlling it though with my mobile device and that was sending the controls remotely back to my my computer where it was actually performing all the actions if you can i mean you can swap between the two of them like you can set your device down and then pick up your computer if for example you need to fight or something like that you're definitely not limited really in terms of how you play so you could be laying down in bed just maybe doing ba simple base management or whatever and then you get into a fight you can go over to your computer sit down and actually use a keyboard and mouse while at the same time the tablet is still connected the commands will be will still be sent from your computer to the device and the device can be picked back up again as soon as you're done with the computer so overall there are really no downsides to this providing you have the hardware that supports it and it can add some really nice flexibility options in terms of how you play don't starve together so i hope you found that useful if you've successfully played don't starve together on a tablet using moonlight or if you have another method of streaming don't starve together from your desktop to your tablet or other mobile device uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below if you have any additional questions about how any of this stuff works once again you feel free to ask me Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.